Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter nine, lesson four. We're gonna go and get started. So, um, it wants for us to find out which one is there. And instead of using the butterfly method this time, because of the way that they're teaching you in the book and the words that they're teaching you in the book, um, we're going to do this one just a little bit different, okay? So you notice that this one only has three pieces because the denominator is three, and this one has eight pieces because the denominator is eight, okay? So this one has less of it colored in, right, than that little itty-bitty piece. That means that that one's going to be bigger, okay? Now, the way that they're calling this is saying that this one is missing pieces. So we're literally going to write missing pieces pieces. Okay, that's the whole answer to that one, guys, okay? On this one, okay, it actually has the same denominator. So finding out which one is more, well, that's easy. So we're just going to write same denominator. Okay, all right. So, name a fraction that is less than or greater than the given fraction. Draw to justify your answer. Okay, so, one-third. Something that's bigger than one-third. Well, that would just be two-thirds. That's pretty easy, guys. Okay, so, break it into thirds. Oh, uh-oh. Miss Lee totally did that. Okay, pretend those are in thirds. Okay, so, we're going to color in one-third here. And we'll do it that way. There we go. And then we can color in our two thirds. There we go. Okay. So done there. Okay. Less than three quarters. Okay. So we're going to keep the same denominator. We just need a number that's smaller than three, less than one. Okay. So this one, they're still being cut into four. This one's got three colored in. This one's got one colored in. Done. Okay. All right. At the third grade party, two groups each had their own pizza. The blue group ate seven eighths. The green group ate two eighths. Which group ate more? Well, seven eighths or two eighths. Which one's bigger? Well, the seven eighths is. So it's going to be blue. The blue group. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys do number seven on your own because you're geniuses. We're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down to the spelling review. It says, Kim, Ella, and the Rose each pick 40 apples. They put all their apples in one crate. How many apples are in the crate? So each of them picked 40, and there's one, two, three people. So I'm going to take that zero, put on the end, and then three times four is 12. So 120 apples. Okay. All right. Each shape is one whole. What fraction is represented by the shaded part of the model? Okay. So we are keeping, oh, okay. So in the book or on the, on your gray page, both of these will be completely filled in. Okay, I know you guys can't really see that because this is a photocopy, but they are completely filled in. Okay, so we are going to divide these into four, right? So our denominator is going to be four because we're dividing each shape into four. Okay, now how many of those are full? Well, all of them are, so that's eight. Eight fourths. Okay, all right. What related multiplication fact can you use to find 16 divided by blank equals 2? Well, we could do 8 times 2 equals 16, or we could do 2 times 8 equals 16. Either one, guys. Your choice. Okay? What is the unknown factor? Well, 9 times what is 36? 9 times 4 is 36. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for hanging out for 9.4. Come on back for 9.5. See you soon.